Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the game Sunday is kind of a full circle. Uh, remembering, having memories from the first game that we ever played there uh, back in 2020, March. Uh, <laughs> and then going in there this time and, and being able to come out again is, is something uh, that feels nice. Uh, all the hard work and all the sacrifices and all the ups, all the downs, and all the experiences that we've gone through as a team, uh, as an organization, and just to walk away with three points and in the way that we did is, is it feels very, very nice, and I'm looking forward to what's, what's next and the rest of this year. Yeah, I think uh, the work that I put in uh, on the field and off the field, I think uh, in the locker room, uh, the leadership that I that I have, and the way that the guys really trust me, and and how I portray myself, and then in the field, uh, just working hard every day and trying to get better and trying to win, competing and, and trying to make everybody else better is thing. I think it's what's what's kept me around for so long. Not not just in this team, but in the league and. Um, I'm proud of having those attributes and I continue to to use them as, as much as I can. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, back to 2020 is, is, is really difficult when you have uh, 30 guys from 30 different places and bring them together in such a short amount of period of time and, and to try and get on the same page. Uh, I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, the, the will and the work and the mentality has always been there since the get-go. And I mean, comparing it to now, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure everybody knows some of the reasons why we're winning. Uh, having Leo, having Buzi, having Jordi on the team has really elevated everybody's game, everybody's confidence, and, and you can see on the field, uh, everybody's a different player that they were a couple months ago, and uh, just happy, uh, enjoying the, the ride, enjoying every single moment, enjoying the trainings and the experiences that we have in the locker room, off the field, and traveling with these guys, and just uh, loving to hear their experiences and everything they've gone through. They're, they're ambassadors of the game, and um, the results on the field are a lot attributed to them but also to the rest of the guys that have stepped up their games. It's just interesting to see their level of commitment. I mean these are guys that have won everything at all levels internationally and they're still hungry, they're still eager, they still come to work every day and they want to train every every day and they want to play every minute of every game and it's impressive to see really. Uh, it's contagious, they have an aura about them that just makes you want to play at the best of your ability and, and you see that. You see that how contagious that, that is and you see the confidence that everybody has and in this sport, confidence is everything, uh, and you've seen that in, in the past month. Yeah, I mean, personally, honestly, I, I was struggling uh, in those moments of high pressure, and I, I, obviously, I went to go score it. I missed it. Uh, it was it was a roller coaster of emotions, but Drake came through. The team came through. Everybody banged their goal in, so that was amazing. And collectively, just this is what we do. This is why we're here. We're here to win trophies, to win games. It's hard. There's only one that gets to lift the trophy and. For us, that, that was us. And to be here in the first trophy in the club history is amazing. To be here from the beginning and the year that I've had and be able to come back into the group and have the trust from the coach and have the trust from my teammates more than, more than anything to step up and take the decisive kick and just to be part of the group again. It's been amazing. Uh, championships are all or everything. And I'm so happy that we, we did it. And I'm so happy for the fan base. I'm so happy for everybody that we were able to do. Yeah, I mean, being a soccer player is about experiences. It's about having ups, having lows, having highs, having downs, and this is just another uh, road bump in my career that I had to go through. Uh, I've gone through stuff before, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only guy that has gone through stuff, but it was a difficult time. Uh, I was training every day. I wasn't getting rostered, but I never gave up. I was always with the same mentality. I was trying to help as much as I could and putting my effort and controlling what I could control, and uh, that led me to this. We had a new coaching staff that came in, uh, was back in the group, and he trusts me, this, that, that's important. Uh, you saw that I've been playing lately, and just happy to be back in, happy to be enjoying this moment, and living day to day, you know, enjoying every single day, and learning every single day from, from everybody around me. Light on that for us. Yeah, well, I mean, he's, he's a guy that pays attention to every single detail that he can think of. Uh, his videos are a little bit long, but they're only once a week, so we, we can we can manage. A, <laughs> how long are they? It's been pretty how, good for us so far. So oh. I don't keep track of the actual time, <laughs> time but. It, it does it does go on for a while but it's it's all worth it he gives us the information that we need to hear at the right time at the right place right before the game his speeches are are good he speaks well and what can i say about his career he's a guy that's won a lot of things been at the biggest clubs been with the biggest stars and uh the manager of the group that he has is, is amazing uh his work ethic is he puts it in there for us to to work as hard as we can every day and he supports us more than anything gives us the confidence to go out and play and demonstrate us, ourselves on the field and express ourselves and worries more about us than anything else. He always lets us uh, be creative and be free, and he gives us defensive, obviously, structure, defensive tactics and all that, but 
more than anything just the support and the will to go and play free and do your thing and, and then we'll worry about everything else uh, when it happens. Make the records. Yeah. No, la verdad que lo más sorprendido que me ha dado él es la humildez que tiene. La verdad de, de venir a tomar la decisión de venir acá a compartir con nosotros y, y tratar de ser una persona más eh, ha sido algo que me ha sorprendido. Eh, no, no sabía qué esperar de él. La verdad que las primeras interacciones que tuve con él, un poco nervioso porque pues, es Leo Messi, pero ahora no, ahora ya tranquilo, llega todos los días, trabaja, eh, pero más que nada su humildez, su humildez de, de ser un, un humano, otra persona más, un jugador más para nosotros, eh, en realidad que, que bueno, es un jugador muy, muy sumamente importante para el equipo y esperemos que nos siga ayudando para terminar el año como queremos. No, no como dices tú, no, no puedes reemplazar a un jugador como como él, pero usar la confianza que, que lleva el equipo, eh, los resultados que venimos consiguiendo y tomar todo eso, todo eso y seguir adelante. Eh, el fútbol es mucho de confianza y ahorita todos los jugadores, todos los muchachos que están, están con mucha, está alta la confianza. Entonces seguir así, de, ese, de esa manera, sabemos que el partido del sábado va a ser sumamente importante para tratar de seguir eh, subiendo en, los, en la, la tabla y tratar de conseguir el objetivo que es entrar a los playoffs. No, it definitely helps, helps a lot, uh, being able to be that bridge in, in between both languages, especially when we have so many Spanish-speaking guys and so many English-speaking guys, so it, I do a lot of the translating of the team, a lot of the translating the player chat, but no, I take that, I take that uh, fully and responsibly, and I'm glad that my parents were able to teach me that, and I'm trying to do the same for my kids, because it's important to know both languages, but uh, it helps me in the locker room, and it helps me be the bridge to the guys. Yeah, no, I've been in the league for a while and I've seen, uh, I believe that if teams get hot at the right moment, then they, they can go all the way. We've seen it with, in the past with teams like, like Seattle, where they uh, had a run and went on to lift the trophy. Uh, I think it's 2016, if I'm correct. But it's happened over and over again. The team that's in a good run at the end of the season has a, the best possibility of going in and uh, hopefully that's us, where we have our main goal and it's to get into the playoffs, whatever spot that is. and. This Saturday is going to be very, very important for us to get the result that we want. Yeah, I think tactically in possession, when we have the ball building out of the back, uh, we find more spaces with the players that are on the ball. And uh, in terms of defending, we have a little bit more stability. Uh, we have tried out a number of people in certain areas of the field, and it's helped us. You know, we haven't had much, much time to work on tactics, but the team, the team has just did really well. Uh, finally, we have a full week to prepare. Uh, a game, so it'll be interesting and it'll be fun to see what, what the coaching staff has. It'll be our first full week with them. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks.